Emily Blunt in The Girl on the Train looks so much like Eve Miles, it's crazy. And beautiful. Hey everyone, I am of course reviewing The Girl on the Train today and I went through a whole bunch of emotions before I even saw this. Initially I thought it was going to be the best film ever and then I read and watched a whole bunch of really negative reviews about the film and I still haven't seen a single positive review about this until this one because then I watched it and thought that may actually be the best film of 2016 that I've seen. It's just phenomenal. So I will point out that I haven't actually read the book so I can't do a comparison and I know a lot of the negative reviews that I've seen were more comparison based where they were saying the book was a million times better which may be the case but for me this is just a review of the film. So The Girl on the Train is all about a woman called Rachel who has a drinking problem. She's played by Emily Blunt and she finds herself caught up in this crime where a woman whose house she passes every day on the train has gone missing and because she has a drinking problem there are certain things around that time that she can't remember due to blackouts and it's all about unravelling the story and finding out what has actually happened to this missing woman. Fantastic story, I'm a huge fan of thrillers and I love crime novels so I think I will actually go and read the novel as well at some point. For me this is all about the character of Rachel, for me it is character driven. I love her so much, I just want to wrap her up and bundle her up as a parcel because she's just one of my favourite film characters ever. There's just something about her that's just so lovely and I'm not sure as a, as a viewer am I meant to like her, am I meant to not like her. Certainly for the first half I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about her but I do know that I'm pretty much in love with this character. The film does jump back and forth in time a little bit which I know I've seen a few people having a problem with but for me I thought it was handled really well. I didn't think it was that difficult to keep up with and I did feel like just the right amount of information from the past was provided at certain points to keep the story moving and to keep us on our toes. It's directed by Tate Taylor and written by Erin Cressida Wilson and I could not praise it anymore. The ending, which I won't spoil, was phenomenal. Not what I was expecting and I actually started to cry a little bit, not because I was upset at the ending but because I was just, I'd enjoyed the film so much that I really needed it to have a good ending and it did and my emotions were so high probably because I thought it would be fantastic and then everybody kind of dashed my hopes and then I watched it and it's one of the best films I've ever seen. I love it. So if I take away anything from this film it's one, I'm pretty sure I was watching Eve Miles half the time but Emily Blunt's performance was phenomenal. I think it was really really well acted. She really got to the heart of this character as a film viewer. Again I don't know how it compares to the interpretation people had when reading the novel but I will find out when I read it. Uh, and the second thing is that you never always trust other reviews. Always give a film the chance, the time of day for your own perspective because I just, I, as I said, I haven't seen a single positive review about this. This video right now is the first time I've ever heard anybody say anything nice about this film and I loved it, I truly did. If you've seen The Girl on the Train please let me know your thoughts and we can get some little discussions going. If you haven't seen it Please ignore the negative reviews, give it the chance. If you watch it and don't like it, fine. But please give it the time of day for yourself because I just thought it was incredible. Start to finish, completely hooked. What's more, I would watch it again, which is very rare for me. Because once a thriller, thriller has concluded and I know how it ends, I kind of think it loses a bit of the magic because you know, you know how it concludes so you're not kind of trying to solve things as the movie progresses. But because for me it was so character driven with Rachel and I just love her so much, I'd watch it again just to wrap her up. She's just perfect. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to try and not tweet about the girl on the train too much, although I have already dropped a few tweets uh, rather excitedly. Let me know your thoughts and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.